The switch object does the exact same thing as a push button object. It modifies a tag which is usually located on a PLC. In this example, we can see that this switch is set up to modify address C100 on a click PLC. Watch this tag as I flip the switch a few times. Once that happens, it's now up to the PLC to do something with that. That's a key point. The switch doesn't actually change anything. It just updates a tag. The PLC sees that and then the PLC reacts accordingly. The only real difference between the push button switch and this switch is instead of a text message on a button that lights up, you can use a graphical version of switches typically found on control panels to help the user better relate to the expected action. By the way, if you want to create a switch using your own graphics, look for the video on how to use the bitmap button object. Let's do an example of several of these standard switches so you can see how they behave. Double click or drag the switch object onto the screen. First, assign a tag for the switch to modify. We'll choose the lights one tag for this switch. Second, select a switch action right here. These were covered in the push button switch video, so we're not going to review those here. We'll just leave it at a toggle switch. Finally, choose a graphic. We already saw the toggle bar in action in the earlier demo, so let's use this selector switch for this guy. Press OK, and there's our selector switch. We'll just resize it and move it into place. Now, just for fun, let's make several copies and change the graphic for each one. So let's highlight the switch, hit Control C, and then Control V to paste in a new copy, and then double click on the switch. All we have to do now is change the tag and pick a new graphic. How about the lock, the lock unlock? And remember, on all of these objects, you can always test them in this little mini simulator here. You'll see the result both here in the simulator and on the screen. So we have our tag, we have a new graphic, we're ready to go. Let's resize that to make some room for the other guys. Now instead of doing copy and paste this time, let's just grab a graphic right out of the parts list here. We'll grab this uh, paddle switch and drop it right on the screen. The beauty of that is it does all the work for us. We're all set up. All we need to do is assign a new tag. We'll grab lights three for this guy and say OK. Let's do that again. That was quick. I'm going to grab a rocker switch, drop that on the screen. Again, everything's all set up. I just add a new tag. Let's have him control lights four and say OK. We'll move him up onto the screen where we can see him. Hit simulate, save the project, and up pops our simulator with our four new switches. So these four switches are controlling these four tags. As I click on the switch, you'll see it change its tag. So here's our selector switch. It changes that first tag right here. The lock unlock is currently off. Changes to on. Our on off. And our rocker switch. So as you can see, the switch object is a great way to customize your user's experience. So have some fun with it. Well, that's it for this video. Be sure to check out all the other videos in this series. And as always, please send us any topics you would like to see covered, or any other comments for that matter. We appreciate the feedback.